Mode set. Executing. What's up, gamers? It's your boy, CDROM1019. Welcome back to Escape from Monkey Island. Okay, so, in a weird twist of events, we are now stuck on Monkey Island, and it is now time for us to actually, for real this time, escape from Monkey Island. There is an awful lot to do, so let's go uh, looking around the island here. Hey, it's Herman! Hey, Herman! Herman! Where? Here! You're Herman Toothrot, the Hermit of Monkey Island! I am? Who are you? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. Guybrush Threepwood? <laughs> and I thought my name was stupid. Your memory seems to be slipping. Is it? I can't remember. Huh. Well. Looks like Herman's got amnesia. What do you remember? Mostly a lot of staggering around. Then a weird kid named Sheepgood showed up and told me my name was Herman. <laughs> well, it's nice to see that whatever scrambled your brain hasn't affected your sense of humor at all. Hmm. I think I'll plumb the murky depths of your memory later. Whatever. <laughs> hmm. Well, let's give him a little See hand. you later, Herman. Oh. Hmm. There's a coconut on the ground here. Let's pick this up. Juggle coconut. What fun is it to juggle just one thing? Oh, all right. Herman? Where? Ow! What the heck you trying to... Hey, I'm Herman Toothrot. Herman, you got your memory back. Some of it. I still don't remember you. This is going to be harder than I thought. Hmm. Okay, well... See you later, Herman. See you, stranger. Okay, still need a little more help, but... At least Herman's still here. Are these notes still here? It looks like this little shack was built on the bow of an old mangled ship. To all the Chuck-fearing citizens of Monkey Island, you are cordially invited to play bingo at the church every Tuesday at midnight. Non-members welcome. Signed, Father Rasputin, C-O-L, Orthodox. I wonder if that would be Tuesday morning or Tuesday night. <laughs> okay. All right, more to do. Let's see. Um, so, whoops, so this is Herman's shack. Let's see here. Ah, the Vista Point. Okay, so this is helpful. So I know this puzzle, um, and it's good to do this first because there's a there's a little. I'll pull up the map. There's a little pool of lava where that lava's coming up from the upper left there, and um, that's gonna come into play. But there's we need to kind of block off part of the lava to actually make that helpful. And rather than waste time doing that and just showing you how it works, I'm just going to do this now. So, there are these boulders, and there are these paths here. There are three exits in which that'll roll the boulders off these ramps, and it'll just leave them somewhere. We need to get a boulder down the middle path, but the only way we're going to do that is by making these rocks hit each other. And there's a certain way and a certain method to do that, and if I remember correctly, I need to pick up a rock, and I need to throw it at... I need to throw one at the right side. I'm I need not to, picking that up. I need to pick up another one. Once it hits that branch, I need to throw it on the right side again. Now. And then I need to pick up one, and then I need to get ready to throw it to the middle. One more. It would stack rocks like this. And get ready to throw it to the left. You see the right, right, middle, left, or left, left, middle, right? I don't remember which way. Okay. And we go down this way. There we go. That causes them to collide. So there goes one off the left. And it lands there. Not helpful. goes off oh one goes off to the right also not helpful and that one went okay no nope, hmm. not quite guess there aren't any more boulders on that ramp okay so I've got the pathing path wrong 
So it's not right, right, middle, left. It must be left, left, middle, right. Okay, let's try this again. So. Left. Or not? That's just gonna go straight down there. Or was it right, right, left, middle? Oh, man. How did this work? Alright. It, yeah, it's gotta start at the right because of that way that, that measuring branch is there. Alright, so let's try this again. Right? Right? Left. Oh, see that that doesn't do mean anything. Boy, that boulder takes a long time to get over there. Yeah, okay. Hold on. I need to I, I used to know the path for this, I just need to look this up. I sworn it was right, right, left, middle. Rock puzzle. Oh, for crying out loud. This is a whole thing here. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. It was right, middle, left, left. Okay, I knew I had to do one of them twice. All right, do this one more time. Right? That makes way more sense. Middle? There we go, that'll make them collide right in the center there. There we go. Okay, that blocked off part of the lava. I'm not picking that up. So now we can leave. Okay. Let's see. There's an old mine over here where one of those boulders landed. Whoop. Go to the mine. Let's take a look inside here. I think that there's... Note? HT, regarding mining operations. Stop them, at once. Your mining is causing sinkholes in our sacred island. Signed, JJJ. Hmm. Okay, there's a banana picker here. Look at human picker? Let's pick that up. Let me look at, use it's it. It's not so useful without a banana to pick. Hold on, I need to look at this, so. Whoops. Why did I do that? Inventory. Well, would you look at that? This banana picker looks strikingly like a little human with really long arms. It's a gold-plated banana picker. Hey, the handle of this is shaped like a little man. Funny that I didn't notice that last time I had this thing. Striking. Hmm. Perhaps that means that the only way off this island is to create a second ultimate insult. Stealing my gold, Sonny? Herman? That's me. Well, see you around, miner boy. Um, okay. Let's see, we're not gonna get much of anywhere in here, but there should be There's something I need around here. I don't remember if it was in this room. Hmm. It's around here somewhere. Oh yeah, it is in there, okay. So, now that we got a banana picker, let's go and actually pick some bananas. Let's go back to the beach. Whoops. Oh, come on, Guybrush. 
All right. Hey, little Timmy's here. Okay, so let's use our banana picker on that bunch of bananas. Got one. Hmm. Probably going to need more than that. Got one. Hmm. Probably going to need even more than that. Hey, there we go. All right. Hey, stop that. Get away from there, Timmy. I need those. Okay. We got a bunch of bananas. Let's give a banana. I can eat the bananas, but I will offer a banana to Timmy. Here, have a banana. Cool. Timmy will now follow us, so... Come along, Timmy. Whoop. We've got business in the mine. Oh, where is he? No, I'm not hiking to the far side of the canyon. Come on. Oh, my gosh, this map. If only this map was a little bigger. All right. Oh, he didn't follow us. All right, I got to go back to Herman's shack because I accidentally went there. It's okay, I got a bunch of bananas. So, is he following us? Nope, he is not. He's off doing his own little thing. All right, come on, Timmy. Here, have a banana. Okay. All right, Timmy's following us. Let's go to the mine. Interested? All right. Yep. He's with us. Come on. Come into the mine, Timmy. No, I don't think he's moving with us. Nope. He didn't go with us. Got to stop every so often to give him another banana. Here, have a banana. Okay. Come along. All right, we'll go all the way to the end here. I will open this portal. Oh, no, not the portal. I will open the vet. Oh, that's not how you open stuff. Come on. No, don't go outside. Shoot, now I got to go out and give him another banana because he left. Here, have a banana. Inside the mine, all the way to the end, and I open the vent. And that, oh, for crying out loud, no! Ugh, I gotta stop pressing that key. Here. Here, have a banana. Alright, let's try this again. Go all the way to the end. Inventory banana. And then we use the banana with the open vent. <clears throat> Come on, Timmy, go get it. And then we close the vent. Okay. But then we take another banana and we use it with the portal. Here, monkey, monkey, monkey. Hey! That worked like a charm. Here, have a banana. Good job, Timmy. All right, I'm gonna go forward. Yo. Ow! Wow, a lot of machinery in here. Okay. Hey, a weed whipper. Ow. I can't reach it. Um. Can I use this on the weed whipper? There we go. Because that's how things work. Okay. We're done here. Alright. So. 
Let's go up to this volcano hey, castle. Hey, what's that? Hmm, okay. So Monkey took a bottle and threw it into the volcano, or to the lava pool. I'm probably gonna need that, so now I gotta go get it. Hmm. The word of LeChuck, huh? What tiny shields? They must have been used in really tiny battles. Really? Tiny shields? That doesn't sound like something you normally see. Wow, I actually get to use this banana picker more than once. <laughs> Those aren't shields. Those are little symbols. Hmm. Okay, well, interesting. Moving on. Wow, lava goes right through this church. That's eerie. Well, at least their heating bill must be pretty low. Greetings, my child. Welcome to the first church of Lechuk, Orthodox. I am Father Allegro Rasputin. How may I help you? The first church of Lechuk? The first church of Lechuk? You're kidding, right? Not at all. This temple is dedicated to worshipping the awe-inspiring perfection that is LeChuck. Uh-huh. How could you build a religion around LeChuck? He's an unholy demon pirate from heck! I kindly suggest that you mind your tongue, heretic. Such blasphemies will not be tolerated in the house of LeChuck. Hmm, okay. Well, how does the Church of LeChuck compare to other major religions? They're remarkably alike. Only ours has a lot more screaming flames and pointy sticks. That's kind of what I imagined. <laughs> um... Don't look now, but there's a river of lava flowing through the middle of your church. Yes, I know. We use it for church ceremonies. Uh, funerals? Funerals? Weddings. Well, I guess that's one way to cure cold feet. Weddings? How does this stream of lava fit into the church's wedding ceremonies? Good question, Dovarish. Here at the Church of Lechuk, we see marriage as a plunge into the unknown. As a symbol of that plunge, we send our newlyweds on a harrowing ride down a river of molten lava. Doesn't that kill them? Only if the restless spirit of Lechuk doesn't approve of you. Besides, our honeymoon boats are lined with stantic voodoo and hands asbestos. Looking for talent is to an acceptable minimum. Okay, um, well, I would like to try it. I'd like to try your lava plunge. Wonderful. That is your brother. Um, I'm already married, and my wife is several islands away being harassed by bad guys. Well then, you can't take the plunge. Come on. Oh, come on. Let me ride a boat down a river of molten lava. What am I saying? Well... I suppose we could use another test run before Lechuk and Elaine's impending nuptials. What? Hop on board. Uh oh. Oh, it's okay. Never me. mind. Just saw, uh, just got a pop up and I wanted to make sure it's not in the capture. If the boat gets stuck, just give it a good kick. I have a very bad feeling about this. <laughs> Okay, so, first things first. We need to grab that, uh... I'm gonna pull out this so I don't have to do it later. Um, we need to grab the, um... That bottle. Oh, man, that is really hard. Alright. I'm gonna have to take another round. I ho was hoping I didn't, wouldn't have to, but... How was the ride? Really hot in some places, kind of bumpy in others, and impossible to control. In other words, a perfect metaphor for marriage. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I got Um, Your Holiness? Yes, my child. Uh, I'd like to take another test ride. I'd like to take another test ride on your matrimonial lava plunge. This is highly unorthodox, but what the heck? 
That's the spirit. Permanences in Talos, por favor. If this is what they do for weddings, I'd hate to see what their confessions are like. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, try this again. Take out the banana picker. I'm gonna try and bump into these logs just to create a secondary path. This should let me... Yep, there we go. Okay. So, this lets me go this way. And... No, I needed to go down the other way. Darn it! I'm trying to remember how this worked. I'm, this might take me a few a few tries. Please step up to the boat to your right and enjoy your visit to the First Church of Lechak Orthodox. Um, Your Holiness? Yes, my child. I'd like to take another test ride on your matrimonial lava plunge. This is highly unorthodox, but what the heck? That's the spirit. If the boat gets stuck, just give it a good kick. It's times like this that I wish I'd become a mighty chartered accountant. Ah! Alright, come on. Let's get this right. Let's hit this one first. There we go. That knocked that one loose. So now I should be able to go down this way. And here we go. Yep. So. It's not so useful without a hard to reach there object we go. to pick up. Got it. Alright. And now. I need to drive the, I need to control the. This banana picker is really starting to come in handy. Yep, I need to go this way, and then I can turn this up here. Cool. <clears throat> Gee, sure are an awful amount of weeds here. Good thing we've got this weed whipper. I need to use this on something. On the weeds, Guybrush. Oh no! Oh no! I got a bug window. You can't see it, but it says uh, it started playing the video and it said more than. What the heck? I've never seen this before. More than 12 megabytes of resources have been left locked. <laughs> Please reload your workstation. Your uh, record your location. Report this to proper authorities and exit the game. Then get back to work. Oh. Oh, okay. It's still playing. That was weird. Never seen that happen before. The lava goes back to the earth from whence it came. All right. So, we're not entirely certain what that did yet, but it looks like that lava kicked in a bunch of machinery in that mine that we were in. All right, we can go over this bridge. And now we're on the other side of the island. Awesome. So, uh, there's a little village over here, it looks like. Greetings! I am Jojo Jr., Monkey Prince. Hey, 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 you can talk! As can you. Imagine that. Okay, well, we met Jojo Jr., he's a talking monkey, and it looks like he's got a tiny bronze hat. Looks like we're gonna need that. Hey, neat hat. Thank you. It is a hat of honor. Can I have can it? Can I have it? Oh, that is a question only the stars and the heavens themselves can answer. Um, okay, but can I have your hat? No. Okay, uh, what do you mean, test of honor? What do you honor? mean, hat of honor? To earn the right to wear this hat, one must become the best at an ancient and noble sport, a contest with great and long-standing tradition among the monkey folk, the sport of monkey combat. 
Monkey combat, really? What exactly is monkey combat? It was once used to train young monkey warriors in the way of combat. In these modern times, it has become a game, albeit a game of supreme honor. Very little has changed over the years. Much of the ceremony has been dropped, but the flinging of insults and witty monkey repartee has remained. Hmm, how's it work? How does it work? Pay attention. I don't want to have to say this again. There are five battle stances in monkey combat. The gimpy gibbon, the bobbing baboon, the charging chimp, and the drunken monkey. Each of these stances is dominant over two other stances. For example, the charging chimp always defeats the gimpy gibbon. So all I have to do is learn which stances beat the others, right? Yes, but there's more to it than that. I was afraid you'd say that. In order to move from one battle stance to another, you must invoke certain secret monkey insults. These insults are built from combinations of the four most ancient words in the monkey language. Eek, ak, oop, and chi. For example, if I wanted to move from the drunken monkey stance to the anxious ape, I would use the following insult. Ooh, achy! I can also use the same insult to move from the anxious ape stance back to the drunken monkey. Any questions? Uh, okay, so I'm definitely gonna be using a guide for this. I always, so this game, this part of the game, I don't think anyone could get through without writing this down. Um, but I really don't have time to write this down, and I think I've got a decent guide here. I just need to figure out, I just need to learn again for myself what stances beat the others. Um, uh, are there any tips to master? Are there any secret tips to mastering monkey combat? There is no way to master monkey combat without experiencing monkey combat. Rats. However, when I was a younger monkey, I found that employing the monkey see, monkey do strategy allowed me to quickly master several simple moves. It also irritated my opponents. Okay. Uh, this is giving me a headache. headache. Then we shall take a break. Um. Since when are there so many monkeys on Monkey Island? Since the Great Summoning. Great Summoning? What are you talking about? Shut your yap, impatient one, and I shall tell you. The Brotherhood of Primates has a unique bond with the whole world that surrounds us. Could you, uh, cut to the chase? I've got an important meeting to get to. No one has any respect for history. A anyway, my monkey brethren have felt a need, a, a calling, to amass here. There is a feeling that something wonderful will happen soon. Something big. Hmm. Something big? That is all we know. And even that is nothing more than a hunch. But it is the only explanation for this impromptu monkey reunion. Really? But how did they know to come here? How did you know to come here? I didn't. I had no choice. And so it is for my monkey brethren. Ozzy Mandrill and LeChuck brought them all here? No. They came of their own accord. But they don't know why. Ominous. I was only trying to illustrate their lack of power to fight it. Much like you. Oh, forget it. <laughs> okay. How did all these monkeys get here? Various ways. Each monkey has found their own path. Are any of those paths reversible? I'd sure like to get off this island. Your path is yours to find. Gee, thanks. I have no more insight for you. Perhaps you seek knowledge in other areas. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I still can't believe you're a talking monkey. That is why you fail. The question is not why a talking monkey, but rather, why not a talking monkey? Okay. Okay, so why not a talking monkey? Precisely. Why not? <laughs> How did this come to pass, oh great one? On a warm, sunny day. Uh, much like this one. Short version, please. I, I was in the clearing next to the giant monkey head, burying my dearly departed father. Your father? You mean... Jojo Sr. Apparently, someone had trained the poor loyal fool to grab the switch that controlled the gate to the giant monkey head. Why does that sound familiar? But that same <laughs> stupid someone forgot to train my father to let go of the switch. Oh, no. Eventually, oh. my father starved to death, swinging on a switch, waiting for a simple command. 
that never came. Gee, that's dumb. Oops. Horrible. <laughs> yes. Well, I was just completing the grim task, and I heard a low humming coming from the giant monkey head. Well, being a curious monkey by nature, I cautiously approached the humming head and reached out my hand towards its massive mouth. As I touched it, a tremendous bolt shot through my body, knocking me unconscious. But when I came to, I discovered that I had an enormous understanding of the world around me. You mean you could talk? Oh, that too. So, Guybrush is responsible for JoJo Sr.'s death. Uh, that was the monkey that opened the gate in the first Monkey Island. Oops. <laughs> do any other monkeys talk? Of course they do. Oh. <laughs> you mean, do they talk in your language? No. I am the only one. As interesting as this may be to you, I feel we might be straying from what is important. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. I really should be going. I wish you luck and health on your journey. We definitely can't fight him yet. He won't let us. This monkey's got an accordion. Interesting. Ahoy there, matey. It says HT on it. Ooh. HT? That sounds like Herman Tuprock. I can't Tuprock. reach it. Hmm, maybe he'd be interested in my symbols. He is a monkey. <laughs> wow. Well, that was easy. Okay, let's pick this up. <laughs> Okay, time to go. All right, so, monkey combat. This is where it gets tricky. I have to engage monkey combat with these monkeys. So, I see you are trained in the arts of monkey combat. On guard, monkey. Okay, I know what beats what. Hopefully I can get this figured out again. All right, so he's in Gimpy Gibbon, and he just called the draw for some reason. All right, we're in Charging Chimp, and I need to get to Drunken Monkey. So to go from Charging Chimp to Drunken Monkey is... Ak -ik -chi. Nope, that sent me to Gibb Gibbon. Why did that do that? Oh, whoops. I, I know what I did wrong. All right. That was my fault. All right, let's try this again. All right, Gimpy Gibbing, Charging Chimp. I need to be in Drunken Monkey, and I'm in Gimpy Gibbon. To go from Gimpy Gibbon to Drunken Monkey is Ak Eek Oop. Ak Eek Oop. Ow! What? Why is that a follow? Ow. I think this chart might be bogus. I'm gonna try this one more time. Gimpy Gibbon to Drunken Monkey. What else beats Charging Chimp? Drunken Monkey's the only thing that beats Charging Chimp. Oh, man. But I can't get to Drunken Monkey this way. Ah, eek. Oop. Uh. Apparently that's a foul. I don't know how. Ow. All right, I got wrecked. Um, I'm gonna <laughs> play with this guy like one more time. I don't think I have the hang of this yet. Maybe, maybe that that one command's a fluke. I want to see if any of these others are, are right. So, I see you are trained in the arts of monkey combat. On guard, monkey. <laughs> Charging Chimp. Okay. He called a draw immediately. Okay. Alright. Bobbing Baboon. Uh, I need to get to Anxious Ape. And Bobbing Baboon to Anxious Ape is Ak Oop Chi. Ow. Or not. Huh. G -G -G. Well, that's... I think this guy's bogus. 
I mean, the stances, I'm sure, are right, but... Alright, I'm an anxious ape, and I need to get to Charging Chimp. Or ch Charging Chimp or Drunken Monkey. Okay, from Anxious Ape to Charging Chimp is Chi... Eek. Eek. Ooh. Oop. Oop. No, this is this is bogus. This is this is all wrong. Oh, oh, okay. Well, thank you. Anxious ape loses. Oh, bobbing baboon loses to anxious ape. G G G. I got another go, uh, another guide from Steam. Let's see if I can make this one work. All right, he's in Charging Chimp. I'm an anxious ape. So Charging Chimp is beaten by. Wait, this says Anxious Ape beats Gimpy Gibbon and Charging Chimp, but that can't be right. I just got beat. Oop, oop, oop. Yeah, no, that's that's wrong. Yo. guides are so dumb. Alright, let's see if, um, this is right about Bobbing Baboon being Charging Chimp. Uh, from Anxious Ape to Bobbing Baboon is Ack. Ack. Eek. Eek. Oop. Oop. Alright, this is wrong. This, this is, this is very upsetting. Oh, every game has different codes. <laughs> Rats. I lost again. Okay, so that's a problem. I can't just magically pick up a guide and, fi and fi uh, figure this out. Um, shoot. <laughs> oh, that stinks. Okay. Um, I need to. I need to get a guide. Like, I'm gonna have to write this down. Oh man. Why, dude? That's just. That's just bad. All right, there's a solution calculator I can probably use. There is, but I'll need to, I'll need to, um. Oh man. I, I can't open this on my phone though. So, I see you are trained in the arts of monkey combat. Let's rumble. I don't know why the smelly monkey always calls a draw. Hmm. All right, yeah, this just creates two tables. All right, I'm probably gonna need a second computer. Um, good thing I got my laptop over here. <laughs> um, jeez. All right. Jeez. I'm I'm just gonna throw this fight and make sure there's nothing else on the island I need to do. Oh, hello. Thanks. Ow. Drunken monkey beats anxious ape. Yeah. See, I'm not gonna remember any of this by the next video. I'm just, I'm just kind of throwing this on purpose. G, G, G. Uh. G, eek. Oop. Ow. Ow. Okay. We'll come back to this. I don't think I have the hang of this yet. All right. There is, whoops. Oh, monkey, leave me alone. There is one more thing I can do now. I was just kind of waiting on it, but. I think I have to go through this and then I can, nope. Uh, shoot. Oh, that's right. I can, the path to the other side isn't created yet. I have to go over here and it's hot molten lava streaming no, not, all over this area not the lava I have to kick the palm tree 
There wow, we go. that tree just fell right over. Now I've got a bridge. Okay, now I'm on the other side. So, let's go back to Herman's little hut here. Uh, yeah, I might as well do both of these now, just to pad out the content. Herman? Where? Ow! Are you trying to kill me, you ration fashion guy brush? Herman, you remember me? Of course! You're the kid who found my banana picker. You got all, you your, got memory all your memory back? I think so. Quiz me, hotshot. Do you remember the cannibals? Those jerks! They used to keep stealing my banana picker. Boy, was I happy when they moved away. Uh, Do you remember LeChuck's amusement park? Yep. Kind of silly if you ask me. Sticking an amusement park on a nigh unreachable, mystically obscured island. I kind of wondered about that myself. Well, that's LeChuck for you. A nasty piece of work, but not too bright. Do you remember Dinky Island? I wish I could forget. I'm still not sure how I ended up there. LeChuck told me there was a tunnel between Dinky and Monkey Island. Really? Well, don't that beat all. Huh. <clears throat> Do you remember the caverns to heck under the giant monkey head? Oh, yeah. The caverns of meat. <laughs> Those caves mysteriously sealed up after you left. It's a good thing, too. We were losing a lot of monkeys down there. Really? Do you remember anything else? I remember lots of stuff. I especially remember a snot-nosed kid who wouldn't let a hermit have a little peace and quiet. Okay. What's the earliest thing you remember? That's a long time ago, Skippy. Try. Hmm. I remember. It's 20 years ago. I'm washing ashore on Monkey Island. My head hurts. There's an accordion next to me on the beach. An accordion? Yep. I tried to play the thing for a few years, but I wasn't any good. So I threw it into a field of weeds. Hmm, an accordion, huh? So you really don't remember anything about your life before you washed up on Monkey Island? Nope. Hmm, let's pour over your mental state later. Whatever! <laughs> How are things on Monkey Island? What? Uh, what do you mean? That's weird. I've never seen that before. Are you sure your memory's whole? Try me, monkey boy. No, that's okay. Let's pour over your mental state later. Whatever. <laughs> Maybe that might have been a joke. I, I don't know what that was about. I need some help. Don't you always? <laughs> uh. Do you know how to fight an ultimate insult? That sounds familiar. What is it? It's a voodoo talisman with the power to crush men's souls. Ultimate insult. Ultimate insult. Nope, never heard of it. Hmm. Do you know any secret hermit tricks to defeat LeChuck and Ozymandril? Why is that name so familiar? LeChuck? No, Twerpo! The other one! Ozymandril? You know Ozymandril? I don't know. I, I think. Maybe. Nope. I guess I don't. Hmm. On second thought, maybe I'll ask for your help later. Suits me! Fascinating. See you later, Herman. Who? Oh. So, Herman seems to recognize the name Ozymandril, and the last thing he also remembers is having an accordion. Sounds like his memory's still a little fuzzy. Let's help him with that. Herman? Where? Ow! Ouch! What in the name of hey? I just remembered where I left my pants! That's, um, great, I guess. Uh, what about Ozymandril? Ozymandril? Never heard of him. <gasps> Wait! Now I remember! Oh no! By Triton's panty line, this is horrible! Herman? Oh? Oh yeah, that's me. Herman. <laughs> Listen, Junior, you better take a seat because I got some whale staggering news to lay on you. Uh -oh. I didn't know whales could stagger, but go ahead. Okay, first of all, my real name isn't Herman Toothrot. Really? What is it? I'll get to that. First, let me tell you how I ended up here on Monkey Island. With nothing but a busted accordion, most of the clothes on my back, and a head full of broken memories. Is this gonna take a while? I'm in kind of a hurry. Stow it, Blondie, this is important. Like so many stories, it began some 20 years ago in a bar on the other side of the world. I had been lured out of my peaceful retirement in the Caribbean by the thrill of a dangerous sailing regatta off the coast of Australia. Australia? 
Well, wait a minute. It... Hush up, kid. I'm telling a story here. Sorry. Anyhow, the night before the competition, I was stealing myself for the race with several pitchers of grog when I was joined at the bar by one of the other competitors, an unhappy Australian tycoon with the unlikely name of Ozzy Mandro. No. Yes. The poor guy seemed so sad just because no one would do business with him anymore. Well, to cheer him up, I regaled him with stories of my adventures on the untamed Caribbean seas. So you were the one who told Ozzy about the lucrative development opportunities of the Caribbean? Yes, but that's not all. The next day, as I reached the race's halfway point, I'd already forgotten the grog-induced revelries of the night before. Suddenly, I found myself being rammed by another boat, pushed into a freakish whirlpool. It was none other than Ozzy. I hate it when that happens. It gets worse. Yipes. I hadn't just told Ozzy about the wonders of the Caribbean. I'd also told him about all of its terrible voodoo secrets. Secrets that men would kill to possess. I told him about the gate to heck known as Big Whoop. I told him about the unbelievable lineage of the three-headed monkey. Worst of all, I told him about the ultimate insult, the voodoo talisman that could make mice out of men. Remind me to never tell you a secret. Strangely, the whirlpool didn't kill me. Instead, it dropped me and my shattered ship on the other side of the world. By the time I had righted myself, I had no idea who I was or where I came from. I took the name Herman Toothrot after the remaining letters on my accordion, H.T. H.T.? Wait a minute, you're not telling me that you're really... That's right. My real name is Horatio Torquemada Marley. But you can't be Governor Marley. I mean, everyone knows that H.T. Marley died over 20 years ago, off the coast of Australia, in a boat race. Grandpa! Get your thinking hands off of me, you blamed octopus! But, sir, we're family. See? I married your granddaughter, Elaine. Oh, that's just wonderful. I finally rid myself of 20 years of amnesia, and the first thing I learned is that my granddaughter has married the sorriest excuse for a pirate in the seven seas. Somebody get me a coconut so I can go back to being blissfully ignorant. <laughs> well, sorry, <laughs> Governor Marley. Well, ain't that a kick in the pants? Governor Marley, lost to sea 20 years ago, has been alive all this time. Grandpa? Quit calling me that! That's no way to talk, sir. We're gonna have to work together to defeat Ozzy and LeChuck. LeChuck's involved, too? Actually, he's the new governor of Melee Island. Get jokes! Where's my granddaughter? She disappeared right after the election. Phew. That's a relief. Why? Because of the one secret I didn't reveal to Ozzy before he tried to kill me. Uh, the secret, the of, secret Monkey of Monkey Island? Island? Of course not. I'm talking about the secret of the fourth piece of the ultimate insult. The one that had to do with the governorship of Melee Island? I was wondering about that. What is it? It's this. That looks like the Melee Island gubernatorial seal. It is the official gubernatorial seal of Melee Island. One of them, anyway. A good governor always keeps a spare around, in case the original gets lost. The seal is the key to unlocking the dread power of the ultimate insult. Without it, it's just a funky-looking maraca. Now, Guybrush, this is very important. Where is the other gubernatorial seal? I guess it's with Elaine. She rarely lets it out of her sight. Oh, that's good. As long as Ozzy and LeChuck don't find her, they'll never be able to make the ultimate insult work. Ah, good times, free grog, my pockmarked fanny. You should all be ashamed of yourselves. Don't be looking at me, you mangy mongrel. I voted for Elaine, I did. Well, I certainly didn't vote for that bilge rat, LeChuck. Well, if none of us voted for him, then why is he the governor? And why are we being forced to build this colossal commemorative statue of him in the center of town? Ah, shut up! This is horrible. LeChuck has enslaved my people. It's a good thing my grandfather isn't alive to see this. Why is he making them build that statue? What does that have to do with the ultimate insult? What's happened to Guybrush? 
What's that smell? Oh, Excavator Marley. You're a hard woman to find, you know that? Obviously, not hard enough. You must be Pegno's Pete. Aye. The Governor and Mr. Mandrill have a few questions they'd like to ask you. Gee, you know, I'd like to. But I have to wash my hair for the next seven years. I really must insist. Drat. Well, like I said, as long as Ozzy and LeChuck don't find Elaine, the ultimate insult can never be completed. Maybe we should come up with a backup plan. Well, they found Elaine, Governor Marley. Horatio? Yep. So... How does it feel to have your memory back? How does it feel? Let's see. Before you hit me with that accordion, I was a carefree hermit on a tropical island. Now, I've got a dimwit for a grandson-in-law. A granddaughter who's imperiled by not one, but two beings of unspeakable evil, and the knowledge that every pirate in the Tri-Island area might be wiped out by a mistake I made over 20 years ago! How do you think I feel, Seepgood? Um, cautiously optimistic? <sighs> How am I supposed to defeat the ultimate insult? You shouldn't have to. As long as my granddaughter keeps the gubernatorial symbol away from those goons. Well, let's just suppose that something goes wrong. How would I stop an ultimate insult talisman? Hmm, that's tricky. I suppose you could just build a bigger ultimate insult talisman. That might work. But... But what? If you wanted it to generate ultimate comebacks, you'd have to master the ancient tongue of the ultimate insult. How hard could that be? Pretty dang hard. It's really ancient. How ancient? It's monkey jabber. The language of the ultimate insult is monkey jabber? Yep. Pretty ancient, huh? Well, it's a good thing we're on Monkey Island, then. Huh. <laughs> All right, so he's... He's refer... I understand what that means. Um... Okay. How am I supposed to get off this f***ing island? Blinky, <laughs> I have no idea. Right now, I'd trade all the gold in my mind to bring back my creaky old ship. See you later, Governor. Not if I see you first. All right, I suppose that's as good a place as I need to stop. When we come back, Mastering Monkey Island, or um, uh, Monkey Combat, we have two pieces of the ultimate insult, three actually if you count the seal, and we just have one, well, actually we've got only two. The second, the monkey head comes into play later. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out the rest of the videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Check out officialytr.com slash forums for more fun. And myself at twitch.tv slash chaos control channel. And until next video, I shall see you all later. So take care. Bye-bye.